There's another Senate race on everyone's mind today. Missouri's disgraced ex-governor and current Senate candidate, Eric Greitens, released a new social media ad today. It starts with him holding what appears to be a long gun. He's standing on a neighborhood street. He talks about hunting rhinos. That stands for Republicans in name only. He then barges into a house with a tactical unit, walks in amid smoke, and talks more about hunting rhinos. At the end, it shows this graphic with the word rhino hunting permit, no bagging limit, no tagging limit. The, the ad is, is violent. Twitter later labeled it as violating their rules about abusive behavior, but left it up because he's a Senate candidate, presumably. Facebook removed the ad. Y you would think a candidate who has been accused of spousal and child abuse by his ex-wife, not to mention that entire uh, scandal that got him in, in, impeached when he was governor uh, in, in Missouri and involving sex, alleged sexual abuse, um, you'd think a candidate like that might consider a less violent appeal to voters. Uh, I guess you'd think, but I don't think there was a whole lot of self-reflection or caution here. I wouldn't even call this ad irresponsible of Greitens. Uh, irresponsible to me means you just didn't consider the consequences it could have. I think the consequences were very well considered. And looking at his response to the backlash against the ad, he's really leaning into it. He's very smugly, you know, promoting it. I think he considered the consequences, which could which could very well be violent, turning people against Republicans in name only, I guess people like me. Um, the thing that's so chilling, though, about this ad is, you know, for decades we've had ads where rhetorical violence was implied, you know, targeting political opponents, you know, by by maybe getting them out of office. This seems to target like citizens, just people who disagree with you. And I'm not sure what the metaphor actually means. What do you mean you're going to hunt them? You can't you can't remove citizens from from office. They're not they're not in office. So what does hunting all of us mean? And without, you know, bag limits and tag limits and expiration dates so just in perpetuity we're we're going to be hunted it's really crazy creepy um and and chilling and i have no doubt it could lead to some violence and, and bakari we should note i mean this is a time when there was a lot of real fear about violence uh against politicians of all stripes uh there was that a deranged left-wing would-be assassin against Brett Kavanaugh, the Supreme Court justice, a few weeks ago. Uh, and obviously there have been death threats against any number of politicians, uh, you know, ranging from Nancy Pelosi uh, to Liz Cheney. Uh, I don't even under... I mean, obviously, Greitens knows this. He doesn't care about this. Uh, he just wants to create buzz. And I, I've seen some Republicans speculate it might even work for him. It's going to work. I mean, we're talking about it here right now. Um, people are talking about it online. Even when I was talking about it, I dare not retweet it. You know, I think, though, and what people should take from this ad is the fact that individuals who have a past and a history of domestic abuse, such as Eric Greitens, should not own weapons because they have a tendency, uh, whether, or not they, whether or not they verbalize it or not, to be further abusive. Uh, and in this case, to actually want to solicit uh, the killing of others. You, you cannot take his ad lightly uh, dealing with the past of who this man was. But the larger question, though, Jake, is what Republican is going to stand up for this? And, and not just Essie, who, who always stands up for what I believe to be right, even though we may disagree politically. But is Mitch McConnell going to say something? He wants to be a member of his caucus. Is Cornyn going to say something? He wants to be a member of his caucus. Rand Paul going to say something? You know, the question is, are these individuals going to stand up and say something? And we take such quick action as we should to protect the, the lives of, of people like Justice Kavanaugh. And we should do those things to not only protect them, but their family. But we still do not have laws in place to keep people like Eric Greitens from owning a weapon. He should not be able to do so. And here we are. And, and uh, S.E., we should note that the, this is part of an overall trend in extremism that we're seeing uh, over the weekend, Texas Republicans, as a party platform, the largest, I think it's the largest state GOP in the country, uh, they passed this new platform which says President Biden was not legitimately elected, uh, that they want to require students to learn, quote, about the humanity of the preborn child. Uh, the party platform labels homosexuality an abnormal lifestyle. They called to repeal the 1965 Voting Rights Act, 
They also called to change the Constitution to cement nine Supreme Court justices. They called to repeal the 16th Amendment, which created federal income tax. They called to abolish the Federal Reserve. And as if this list wasn't enough, the platform also says we urge the Texas legislature to pass a bill in its next session requiring a referendum to determine whether or not the state of Texas should reassert its status as an independent nation. Now, the, the final vote still needs to be certified, but it's rare for changes to be made. It's 2022. Right. The Texas GOP is really talking about ending the Voting Rights Act and seceding from the country? It is wild, wild stuff. And, you know, this doesn't become law, but it certainly gets codified in the official Texas Republican state party platform. This isn't this isn't like CPAC where everything's sort of unofficial. It's just an event. This is actual an actual convention where these things were being discussed. Now, I will say, I, I think this probably represents the farthest edge of the far right in Texas and not even the majority of Republicans in Texas. I'll remind you that the, the Republican passed abortion law in Texas that effectively criminalizes it isn't even isn't even popular in Texas. So I don't think this is representative uh, necessarily of, of, of where Texas is. We know that Texas is sort of purpling. Uh, but I think, you know, at least where the Texas Republican Party wants to go, it is going to the extremes, completely out of step with certainly where the rest of the country is. And I, I would even imagine even where most Texans are.